They've created a kind space. When you're here, you can't believe that there's anything other than kindness. That the gulf between mental health and non-mental health blurs, and you feel that you've got something to give, which isn't always what you feel when you're not very well. Well, we're very privileged here in uh, Camden Square. We have a, a church which dates from the 1950s, but it has two very large gardens, one of which was disused for many years and was pretty much a derelict piece of land covered uh, by brambles. Various uh, attempts have been made to cultivate it over the years, but it had fallen into disrepair and uh, disuse. And it took a few goes um, and ups and downs before we uh, met uh, Ben and Catherine, who uh, became partners with the community garden. What was striking about this place was the more time we spent here, the more uh, we loved being amongst the trees and it felt very secluded and very cut off from the sort of hubbub of Camden Town and stuff and so we thought actually it almost feels a bit like the edge of a, a wood. So that's how it kind of then we started to think more of it more about being a woodland garden. And we noticed there was quite a prickly hedge yeah. of Berberis actually around the perimeter, um, which is pretty lethal, but absolutely fantastic for birds. Yeah. So it creates a really safe space for them, yeah. as well as reinforcing the kind of private, secluded, secret nature of yeah. the space. Whether you're community gardeners or whether you're a church, you want to welcome people in. You want to engage with people and give them a space where they can flourish. I mean, in some ways, because of it being community garden and growing things, that's almost a metaphor for what we're trying to do with the insides of people's lives as well. One thing that's important to us is to um, make this space available to as many people as possible. Uh, that just makes sense. We want to use our national lottery money in um, make that have as much impact as possible. Um, so I think uh, hospitals can be quite institutional. So any uh, way that we can get patients off the wards and get them into the community. Um, but this project in particular, I love because it feels like we're in the countryside. We're in London, we're in uh, quite a busy part of London, and just having this little patch of nature, um, you can just relax and you can hear birds flying and we're doing practical things. Um, you know, I, I love it because of that mostly. Within um, the world of rehabilitation and mental health rehabilitation, I think um, having some sort of opportunity for people to spend time in nature and be invited to do horticulture, be involved in conservation, is a really vital part of what we offer. I think also it's really important for the patients to be able to see their work develop over the seasons. So we might come uh, in spring and we'll plant seeds and then we can watch those seeds develop and grow and then we can potentially harvest them. Uh, and it's lovely to see that progression. I think the patients really appreciate that. Yeah, I never had any plants in my flat, just a basic flat. And since I've come here now, I've got five plants. And I feel so proud when I water them and uh, I see flowers. And uh, if anybody comes in, they say, oh, you've got plants. So that's nice. Additionally, we, we kind of want to make this space used as much as possible. So we've actually expanded what we do, not just gardening activities, but also baking and cooking. And you'll see from uh, the bunting here art as well. You talk about the same things to do with gardening and stuff, and then you talk about things like cakes, because you have a tea break and they make cakes. 
out of bits of um, vegetables or whatever and, and get to know one another. It was everything I want because I feel relaxed and I, I feel at ease when I'm down here. For a couple of hours, you can just kind of rest a bit and forget the the bad mental health thoughts or or being alone and and just be with the others. You know, you know, you forget sometimes that you know, like myself, that I get ill sometimes and I'm not well and yeah. I live alone and yeah. you know all these nasty things that come with old age and and mental health. So it's nice to come here and forget about that. Lovely people, lovely place. <laughs> the work we do, we try and teach ourselves more about um, how to broaden biodiversity in the garden, how to be, be sensitive to the, to the space. But it's not just the garden, it's the, it's the people that we work with. And, and we always say to them, this is not a community garden without all of you. Gardening is great for my mental health, I, I know that, and uh, so it's one of my passions to share the benefits of gardening and being in nature um, with other fellow gardeners.